Women should be considered in all fields of endeavors. Text, Revelation chapter 1 verses 1 to end, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God, and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that rear death, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace, from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, said the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother, and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God, and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and, what thou sayest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pagamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last, I am he that liveth, and was dead, and, behold, I am alive for evermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter, the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Revelation chapter 1 verses 1 to 20 The trouble with the people of the world is, they have not accepted the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ which says, we should not call any person a teacher because we all are brothers. If we had accepted this teaching, we would have regarded ourselves throughout the world as brothers. There should be no discrimination among the white, black or the colored people. And there should be no distinction among man, woman or child. Division comes because we have rejected the injunction of our Lord Jesus Christ to accept the other person as our brother. Read Matthew chapter 12 verse 25, And Jesus knew their thoughts, and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Read again Matthew chapter 23 verse 8, But be ye not called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. No person actually knows what role I am coming to play in the world. Raising the dead, giving visions, and many other miracles, are all part of God's work, but my main assignment is to bring all the scattered children of God together into one fold. Read John chapter 11 verses 51 and 52, And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation, and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Animals were created to serve human beings, and, you humans sit in your position of glory and honor while all these lower creatures administer unto you. Right from the day you decide to wage war against them by killing them for meat, you lost your glory. That is why, there is no peace between man and the lower animals. Man is thrown into confusion. 
both whites and blacks are in a state of confusion. If there were any possible means, people would have loved to go and rest in the Hades because there is no peace in the world, and if there were any entrance that leads to heaven, everyone would have loved to go and rest there, because of the same prevalent unrest in the world. But right now if you want to go to heaven, the gate is closed, and if you want to go to hell, the gate is also closed, and so people have become antagonistic against one another. They fight and kill one another. Your heart is the temple of the living God, we know, it is not good to steal, but we continue to indulge in stealing. There are certain things we are forbidden to do, but yet still we continue to do them because the city is divided against itself. There is no other dwelling place of God, apart from our hearts. Our heart is the tabernacle of God and if God does not dwell in you, pray fervently for yourself. If God does not dwell in you, it is just like building a house, and abandoning it for years and years without anybody occupying it. If you come back to see the house after many years, it will be overgrown with grasses, filled with cobwebs, and many other filthy things because there is nobody to take proper care of it. And by the way, if God is not dwelling in you, know you are useless. The reason you look for animals, birds, and fishes is to use them for food. The reason men look for women and women for men is to get married and have children. Sometimes you will say, a girl is very beautiful, if it were yourself of those days, you would have her for a wife. A man marries a woman for two reasons only. But I ask you, are these the only reasons for which a woman was created? A man should realize, he is only half, likewise a woman, and when the two of them are joined together they become an entity. Minus the man, a woman is incomplete, and minus a woman, a man is incomplete, he is only half. Have you ever come to this wisdom of truth? If all men in the world are assembled together, no matter their deliberations, they cannot accomplish anything because they are only half of what should be whole. There is no other duty performed by a man, for whenever men congregate to discuss matters, their natural instinct is to fight, kill, and cause trouble because they are only half of the whole. They would not want anything that would cause confusion in their midst. But where there is trouble, there can be no peace. It is said you should neither be hot or cold, and that is why women, who are cool and men, who are hot are mixed together, to produce midway between hot and cool. The woman is part of the man. What God has taken out of a man to create a woman is love, and that is why all the time, your mind and thoughts are concentrated on your wife. This is why, when you sit in your office writing you continue to think of your wife at home. If someone should come and steal your certificates or house properties, you will not wage war against that person, but whosoever tampers with your wife, you will wage war against that person and promise never to forgive the person. Remember the story of Joseph and Potiphar. Potiphar loved Joseph to the extent, he handed all the keys to his house to Joseph. Joseph controlled everything in Potiphar's house. Potiphar did not bother whether or not he was given food by Joseph when he returned from his official duties. This was because of the extreme love he had for Joseph. But right from the day his wife falsely accused Joseph of attempting to be intimate with her, Potiphar, without attempting to verify the facts, threw Joseph into jail. The reason why we fail in our diverse undertakings is because we do not observe the traditions of the whites, how they deal with their women. A woman is the mouthpiece to her man, when Moses was sent by God to deliver the children of Israel from the land of bondage, he argued with God, he was a stammerer and he will not be able to withstand Pharaoh and his people. God gave him a mouthpiece and that was his brother Aaron. Wherever he went, Aaron spoke on his behalf. In the same way, women are given to men as prophets. Everything that would happen to a man, wherever he would be, God would reveal it to his wife and not to him. Man sees nothing in his dreams, but the things surrounding his life would be revealed to his wife. It is pitiful, man does not reckon on the woman. Women are regarded as insignificant personalities in the society. Because of this idea, man does not want any advice from the woman in his business undertakings. And when he plans and fails, he carries his hand on the head and he cries to the woman in the house. In the same way, any woman who does business alone, without being in partnership with a man cannot succeed. Man and woman have to join hand together before they can succeed. 
It is because of the way the women are manhandled by men that makes them vow never to become women again in the next generation. They say this because they do not realize their responsibility. With all your so-called knowledge, you do not know, if you want to do anything, a man and a woman should be brought together, before anything is formed. Man is half, likewise is a woman half. There is nothing created by God that does not have some specific assignment. Everything created by God has some specific assignment to carry out. And so it is our duty to investigate the assignment of each one of us and the purpose for which he has created us. Upon all the book knowledge you claim to have acquired, your claims to have lived in planets for many years, but did you know, man, woman, and child in the entire world come from the same father? The opinion of the woman should be taken into consideration as well as that of the man. Do you know the role a woman is coming to play in the world? I know as you are sitting down here, you do not regard any woman as something. You even respect your domestic animals in your house more than the woman. You command them in the house like soldiers in the war front. You hush them up, asking them to stand up when you are talking, threatening to beat them up if they fail to take your orders. When I hear all these things, I shed tears for the woman. The judgment of all those who maltreat women is coming soon, and it will be very severe. You only need a woman for one thing and after, you torment her. All of you here have in one way or the other deceived a woman. Even if you have not been telling lies to other people, you will start to tell lies to a woman. When things are so bad with you, you go and attach yourself to a woman, promising to marry her, and she will accept you, not knowing, you are deceiving her. Women are easily deceived because they do not believe in the truth, they yield easily to falsehood. Women assume to know everything, not knowing, they do not know anything. There is a fierce war between the men and the women. The men plan on how to deceive as many women as possible, and the women on the other hand plan on how to enslave men to themselves. Do not deceive a woman again, for women are your sisters and you all are one. Read Matthew chapter 27 verses 15 to 20. Now at that feast the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner, whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner, called Barabbas. Therefore when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you? Barabbas, or Jesus which is called Christ. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man, for I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. Matthew chapter 27 verses 15 to 20 You are the only person who has the affrontery to marry so many women, but if you see your wife with another man, the house is set on fire. If Pilate had listened to the advice given by his wife, would he have perished? The wife told him to have nothing to do with that good man. Pilate did not listen to his wife as you do not listen to your wives today, and you have to perish. In the compound where you live, all those who love you or hate you are known by your wife, but you are ignorant of everything. The only thing you do is to look for money and other material things, but your wife knows the intricacies of life. It is your wife who protects your soul. Do you not know your life is in the hands of your wife? She will be the first person to know whatever is going to happen to you. If she wants you to go naked, cry today, laugh or rejoice, she is capable of doing it. If she wants you to die today, she will as well do it. Even though you would want to go to the sun or moon to discover the mysteries existing in these planes, but I tell you emphatically, your life is in the hands of your wife. She is capable of making you to be poor or rich if she wants to. Your troubles, problems, difficulties and the rest of the unfortunate events occur because you do not make arrangements with your wife. You only go to her when things are bad with you. When things are good with you, you go and attach yourself to another woman in the world and ignore your wife. When you meet with diverse conditions you run back to her again. All the petitions of your wives are before God, and they are many. They have suffered so much because you do not treat them as your brethren. And the judgment for those who maltreat their wives is a difficult one. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, 
and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. That is why, I always sympathize with you, because whether you acquire worldly knowledge or possessions, study in higher institutions of learning and be a member of any religious organization, you are completely useless, as long as you do not give honor and respect to your wives. Brethren, have you had the text read to you? Can you rightly say, God answers your prayers, as long as you continue to maltreat your wife? God does not listen to your prayers because you do not love your wife. You have never invited a person of your age group for wrestling, but every time you will box your wife, beat her up and throw her away because she will fall immediately when you push her. I am very sorry for women because immediately you are hard on them, they will begin to sob and surrender. As God compares himself with man, so does he compare man with a woman. The wisdom of God is greater than that of man, and that of man is greater than that of a woman. Man's knowledge or intelligence is greater than that of a woman. Genesis chapter 1 verses 29 and 30, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Only fruits and seeds are given to man yes food, have you heard, brethren? When were you given the authority to kill and eat an animal? If you eat the meat of any animal, do you not know you have eaten man? That is the very first offense against God. That is what I have devoted this time to teach you. All the words of God given to you now are not new. They are all those old words which had been given to you, but which you have failed to put into practice. You should know, the moment you eat meat you have defied the temple of the living God, and it is from that moment, you begin to suffer. Where do you think the blood that comes from human beings, goats, hens, and other animals go to? You should think over all these things, having realized, as man has blood, so also has a cow, hen, goat, and other animals. They all have one and same type of blood. Where you people establish all types of institutions like the cinema houses, ballrooms, dance halls, you brew beer and other types of liquor, so as to obtain some temporary relief from life's tedium. You want some type of consolation because you have no peace in life, and so you would want somebody to give you peace. If you had been told some time ago, you would stay without drinking beer or any other drink and still remain healthy, would you have believed? If you had been told, you would live without taking injections and drugs, and, you would not go to Jujuman, Sutsaya and to the necromancer to inject black charcoal into your body, or to give you charms, talismans or concoction to wear, would you have believed? If you had been told, in this world you would lie alone on your bed, would you have believed? You would have said that type of thing would not have happened in this world. There is no man who sees the usefulness of a woman apart from being on the bed with her. Even if she buys you a car, an aeroplane, an ocean steamer, or any other thing, you will tell her to keep all those things aside and allow you to face important things. Our thoughts are all buried in this one fact, the idea of every man wanting to have carnal knowledge of all women. This is why immediately you see a man and woman, you conclude, they have been intimate. Even if this woman gives you a thousand nairas, the other person is not bothered about that. What concerns him or her most is, you had been intimate with that woman. Women should be considered in all fields of endeavors, learn from what we practice here in brotherhood. In any of the meetings or fellowships, if the president or chairman is a man, the vice president is a woman. If a woman is made the secretary, the assistant secretary will be a man, just like that throughout. There is no business which selects men only and it works well. It will be war altogether. And there is no business which selects women only and it works well. This is because there will be peace all through, without any war. These two things have to work hand in hand. You only adopt this policy when you come in here, but immediately you depart from this place, you say, such a policy can only be adopted inside brotherhood and not elsewhere. You also know, a man has his specific role to play in this kingdom, of which no woman, no matter her education or her position, can qualify her, to be used as a substitute for a man. That is why, I say, 
the first job I have to do is to unite all human beings inhabiting this globe. Be they black, white or colored, man, woman or child, all of them have to be brought together. Can you tell me the reason you do not regard a woman as yourself? Is it because of the bright price you pay to the parents, and so you feel you have bought an article? And for that reason, you have to jealously guard against this article. You hush her, command her, you place so much money on her head. That you can even decide to kill her since it was your money you spent on her, and that it does not bother you at all. The woman will only argue, if you kill her you would only lose your money. Therefore, brethren, instead of bride price, show a thankful heart to your in-law. By right nobody should pay or receive the bride price. It is the worst crime we have ever committed before God. There are two sins God will never forgive men, one, you must never receive bride price, when your daughter is to be married. But commitments before God are great, when you collect the bride price of your daughter it means, you are selling God. If you watch what the houses are doing, they are not committed to these types of things. They do not sell land and they do not sell human beings. But you who call yourselves educated people, hence you feel you are better than the houses, have you seen what you have done? Instead of bread price show a thankful heart, when Sarah died, Abraham sent a messenger to go to the land of Israel, to bring a wife unto his son Isaac. Before he left, he was given so many things as presents, gold, chariots, money, and many other things. This errand boy on his way prayed, God should reveal whosoever would be the wife of Isaac to him. That the very first girl he would meet, and ask her to give him water for his cattle, any girl who would respond, would definitely be the one. Immediately after the prayers, he stood up. As he was approaching a well, he saw Rebecca and asked Rebecca to give him water for the cattle. She agreed and handed the bucket freely to the errand boy, and even fetched him more water. The messenger became then convinced she was the wife of Isaac, and so gave her the ring. That was the origin of the engagement ring. You go to a goldsmith to prepare something for you and you wear it on your finger. The engagement ring is one of the things the world takes pride in, putting on of engagement ring, to go to church for weddings. Take note, he had prayed for God to reveal the wife to him. It was then Rebecca was revealed to him. What about you, have you prayed God to reveal the type of wife you should marry? You meet a woman in the ballroom, dance hall, cinema theater, school and some other random place and you decide to marry. Pray to God to reveal your wife. When the messenger reached the house, the people wanted to entertain him, but he told them, he was not prepared to eat yet until he had told them the message he was sent there by the master to deliver. After discussing, they ordered the girl Rebecca to be brought, and immediately she was told what information the messenger had brought, and she accepted to marry Isaac. The parents did not say this or that amount should be paid. The errand boy opened the bag and brought out so many things, gold, silver, clothes. Abraham was a very rich man, and so he sent along many things. Right now, you are preparing engagement rings and giving them to one girl or the other, have you imitated the ways of Abraham? That thankful heart, have you got a thankful heart? Have you passed it on to your father-in-law? Land should not be sold, in the same token, when Sarah died, Abraham went to her people, to sell to him a piece of land, so he can use it in burying his wife. The people said, he was a priest and a very important personality, and he does not have to pay anything for the land. Since the land belonged to them, he could use any part he wanted. He pleaded with them that the land be sold to him. But somebody said, the land he wants to use would cost so much, but they did not intend to sell it to him. Since Abraham was a big man he could have the land for free. And so Abraham brought out the so much and gave to them to show appreciation of what they had done for him. He received land free, and he had to give them presents free. One good turn deserves another, the law is, you not eat any man's food for naught, and a lazy person should not be fed. All these things hang on, love ye one another. If you form the habit of going to somebody's house to eat every day, without making any attempt on your part to return the favor, when the food is exhausted, what do you think will happen to the two of you? The two of you will be stranded for there will be no more food left for you to eat. That is the debt you owe everybody. When somebody does any good thing to you, you have to reward him. 
And that is one thing we do in brotherhood. There is no big or small, but we try as much as possible to keep this equality to all human beings, because we have been given these things free of charge, we are supposed to live as equals with every person. Every person is equal, you always look at your children without regarding them as anything. You regard animals in the bush better than them. I want somebody to give me a reason why you do not have any regard for your children. Do you not see them with two eyes and two legs, and a human head as you have? Do you know where that child comes from? Your father is his own father and you are all equal. Does it mean, when he is a child, he is not a human being? Do you know what he has come into this world to do? Do you know whether the child is not greater than you? Do you know whether his not is not even bigger than yours? The child has a specific assignment to do for the father, just as you also have. What he is sent to do, you cannot do, and what you are sent to do, he cannot do. Therefore what you have to do is to join hands together and cooperate. Try to rebuild and accomplish all you have lost. You must not regard him as a small child, even if he is one month old. Even the child in the womb knows what you do not know because God who dwells in you also dwells in him. Do you love or regard your child as yourself? For these things I came to the world so there will be no difference between A and B or O and M. To remove the barrier between all sets of men. If one is missing, you cannot get a complete set. You should not joke with whatever is called man. You are a man, that child is a man, and the other person is also a man. We should always cooperate together. We should not have any disregard for any other human being. You should not cause discrimination or division among yourselves because if you do, you cannot stand firm. If you continue to quarrel, fight and hurt yourselves, you cannot stand. Because you regard the small child as a small person, you go and buy a bowl of meat and eat it all without giving any to him. When he goes out he tells people, his father is a bad man, he has eaten a bowl full of meat without giving him any. He would decide, when he grows up he would buy his own meat and would not give it to his father. Do you know the reason why at any time you send your child to go and buy something for one naira he uses 50 kobo to buy for his meat, and he will come back to tell you, your article cost one naira. Your child is more powerful than you are. It is said, a new broom sweeps well. If you have a big tree to cut down and you try to use an old blunt axe, you cannot do the job efficiently. You may even spend up to two, three or four days on the task. Why not use a new axe that is sharp and can do the cutting quite easily? Your child is the new, sharp axe, which can cut down the tree. Why do you begin to punish yourselves and cause divisions between yourselves? Try to tell the children, you are all equals. Matthew chapter 18 verses 9 to 14, And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee, it is better for thee to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think ye? If a man have an hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and go out into the mountains, and seek out that which is gone astray? And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep, than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Matthew chapter 18 verses 9 to 14. Brethren, have you heard that? What about you? If you hear, something is happening to your so-called enemy, somebody you have declared as your enemy, you will say, I had told him, his sins will find him out one day, and such thing happened as a result of his sin. You will eat and drink and thank the God of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Does it mean the God of Brotherhood is a killer? If you sue somebody in the law court, saying, you want to teach him a lesson because he stole your belongings, is God pleased with this action? All the things you are doing are not pleasing to God. Whoever is called a human being is your brother, and so you have to regard him as your brother, your own self, and you all are the children of the same father. What do you lose in regarding everybody as yourself? 
What is your profit if you sow the seed of division between you and your brother, sister or your children? Because it is quite clear to us, any kingdom that is divided against itself shall fall. And so brethren, what I have come to do is to unite the whole world into one entity. You are taught love, truth, humility, patience, meekness, and all the other virtues of God, so you know how to live in peace with one another. If you have patience, you can afford to stay with thieves, fornicators, and all sorts of evildoers without trouble and without the urge to take anybody to the police. You will use your sympathy to coexist with them. If you are merciful, you will not plan evil against any person. You will be able to stay in peace with everybody because it is this mercy that will guide you through. Do you know, the ethics have their own culture. The course and the ethics also have their own culture. The culture of the ethic is different from that of the course and that of the course who have their own separate culture, the sum total of their behavior. If you go also to the Euron, the whole culture there is different from what you saw at Oron. The Ibibios and the Anangs do not agree because of the different cultures they have. This is what I have come to do, unite all these groups together into one whole. The Anangs man is very sharp with the machete, and so he will not spare you when you offend him. He will first of all chop off your head and then go to the police station to report, he has killed somebody, and then he will be prepared to be taken anywhere. If you want to inflict corporal punishment on an unknown man, he will run away, but if you want to engage him in a duel with a machete he will thank his God, for that is what he is good at. That way of life is in his blood. And so the differences in the culture, ways of life and behaviors create differences among people in the entire world. These differences continue to exist in the cities. Unless these different cultures are brought together into one social and cultural whole, there will be no peace. The bones of fish you eat and throw away, the coconut shells you throw away and even the condemned iron scraps scattered everywhere, if they are shipped overseas, they can be used to manufacture something very useful there. Even the urine that comes out of you can be used there for one thing or the other. Do you know, all these things you throw away, Small shells, rotten snails, and other materials you condemn here, are wanted abroad. Even people overseas look for contracts for the supply of these things. Do you know why it is said, you should not spit out saliva or cough and spit out mucus indiscriminately? This is because when it is left on the ground to mix with the dust, you will end up having to breed the disease again, when it evaporates and becomes particles in the air. This happens with the feces you pass into water. The feces cause the water to be contaminated. The world is revolving as it goes round. As the scriptures tell you, there shall be a time when sand shall return to sand, earth to earth and dust to dust. If it were not so, we would not have had so many people in the world. When a drop of blood is lost, you know, blood makes a human being. So many people come out through blood that is dropped on the ground. When blood is said to be flowing somewhere, do you know where it goes to? And you say, water flows out of the body, do you know where it comes from and where it goes to? And so you have no right to say, this thing is very good or that thing is bad, or that a thing is killing or that it is poisonous. Feed on all the herbs, the leaves and fruits of the trees are all delicious. If you just boil them and take them, they will give you blood. And so brethren, I do not teach you about the time Adam was in the Garden of Eden or when Abraham was a bearded fellow. All these are ancient history. What we have now are the new lessons about this new kingdom of God. We have to forget about all these things that transpired in the past. Right now you are being taught new lessons about this kingdom of God, but in other places they are being taught that until Jesus comes back. They are waiting until Jesus Christ would come back to teach them. But here, we say the kingdom has already come, and that is why we are here, and you are being taught the lessons of this kingdom. This is not the time to tell you when and where our Lord Jesus Christ was born, or John the Baptist went about preaching the gospel of repentance to people, or that John ate locust beans and honey. All these are history. We have nothing to do with them. We are in the new kingdom of God. We have been saying the Lord's Prayer. The kingdom is already here. That is why we are told to love one another and we have to walk because the Father also walks all around the clock. We are here as brothers and sisters. 1 John chapter 4 verse 21, 
and this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. Have you heard what is read to you? You always say, God knows your heart. He does not know. If you do not love your brother, sister, or neighbor, you do not belong to this kingdom. It is only here, you have to be one. Wherever you go now to settle, be it ABA, Port Harcourt, Lagos, Uyo, or anywhere at all, and you are given land to build your house, live there with the people peacefully, without division. You are all one, be it in America, India, or anywhere else. Black, white, or colored, we are one and the same people. Look at the sister sitting there, she comes from London. Everywhere people are shouting, we are brothers. In Ghana, Ivory Coast, Britain, Nigeria and everywhere. And so you should not continue to complain, you have no father, mother, brother, sister or children. What we are doing here is not raising the dead, giving visions, but to see about uniting every person in the world together, to bring them into that one and indivisible whole. Your attention is drawn to a situation at Ikat Iti Aidong, where all the churches are now united. They have united together. We are working towards uniting all the churches together. What is the sense in causing divisions? Right now all the thieves have teamed up to form a union, the prostitutes have done the same thing, and the rest of the people. Tell me the difference between a thief, prostitute, murderer, fornicator, swindler or what have you. They are all human beings. Tell me the reason why you should not come together. Apostle Eshon from non ebom came the other day and said, all the churches in that community want to hold a thanksgiving service on the twelfth day of the month to make peace. In the past, there have been troubles in that community, and now all of them want to come together and cooperate. Individually, whether you have money, wisdom, children, it is not my concern. When you come together, everything is bound into one, so there will be peace, love, wealth, knowledge, power, cooperation, there will be everything and nothing will be lacking. Right now if there is any person existing in any part of this world who says he does not reverence brotherhood, that person is telling a lie. Many people would watch when you say, you have nobody to help you, no sister, no brother, or no relatives, they would jump on you and do what they like. But when they discover, you have many relatives, no person will come to you. When they look at you, they will say this man calls every person brother, sister, and here they will fear you, and say, all these people are your brothers and sisters. And they will warn other persons not to go there, so as not to be consumed. A leopard or a tiger can do whatever it likes with a single cow, but if there is a congregation of several herds of cows, the leopard will hide somewhere and watch the cows, because it cannot afford to devour any one cow with such a large number of cows looking on. And so when the leopard discovers, it cannot do anything, with all the cows around, it would go to one of the cows and ask him what he is sitting down there for. Why not go and take fresh air and enjoy yourself with food somewhere over there, there is no need sitting down here. It will go round and say the same thing to the rest of the cows and when it succeeds in dispersing them into different directions, it will have the chance of killing all of them. Right now if you go to any place, people will be watching you to see if you are alone or not. As they go up they will see another group of people coming and conversing. They will walk down and still see one, two, three, or more people coming, then they will be so discouraged from doing anything to you, because you are so many, and if they tamper with any of you, the group will destroy him. The person has to allow them to pass. But if you walk alone, the people plotting against you will be watching you, and they will be moving up and down the road to see if there are some other persons accompanying you. If they find, there are no other persons, they will jump on you, cut your throat, and do all sorts of things. You do not have any other people to help you, except members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. A pastor at Port Harcourt did not attach himself to his people and the laws of the land, but instead he attached himself to Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Now, he is dead, and his people say, they have nothing to do with him, he was not with them. That is the challenge to Brotherhood, and every hand must be on deck to see we all go there to meet that challenge. And so you see, no village, community, town, country or government can withstand Brotherhood. Should Brotherhood voice out, they will run away and go into hiding. When you begin to make the pronouncement, you have nobody, and, you are alone in the world, 
that is instrumental to your situations and positions in life. You will not have anybody to assist you in life if you continue to say these things. You will be poor and sick and shall finally die. But once you continue to believe brotherhood will always be at your side, surely it will be. God is the God of multitude. Therefore, every person is your brother. If you say, every man is your brother, every woman is your sister, you will have power and nothing will influence you. In brotherhood wherever we are given land, we have to build houses in the villages, towns, and cities, and even establish firms and other institutions, so that many people, who have an occupation, will be sent there to work. Your trouble is, very many people cannot live there, there is no electricity, pipe bomb water, and all other luxuries. That is what I have come to do. If you have been weeping like an orphan, you have to rearrange your thinking, for you have people. You have brothers and sisters all over the world. When you go out and see the number of people you have, you will become very joyous and will know nothing is wrong with you. Right now the whole world is filled with brotherhood children. Every person you see outside will be wearing white, even those who do not come to brotherhood purposely go, and so they are whites, and put on, and call you brother or sister. Go to Ghana, Liberia, London, and everywhere in the world, you will see people with white. Do you know what the world has forgotten? When Dr. Azekaiwu was to form a political party, he went round and gathered all thieves, truck pushers, and the rest of the lowly place people to form the NCNC. But Chief Owolowo said, he wanted to form a political party of decent men, of doctors, lawyers, millionaires, and educated people, that was action group, and they found themselves that the NCNC cannot cope with them. They forgot the thieves, truck pushers and their gangs became ministers with portfolios. And so all the doctors, lawyers, and other big men were standing aside in their houses, and they did not have a say. That was the decision of the majority. Don't you know, man is the most expensive thing in the world. Even if he has crooked eyes, broken legs, he is very useful in the world. He has an assignment. When in 1977 the churches in Calabar and all over the country, united together to wage war against brotherhood, the youth fellowship was formed to counter the evil intentions of the churches. The so-called big men ran away and hid themselves. Those members of other churches thought it was our father alone, so they could catch him like a fowl, as they did to our Lord Jesus Christ. They did not know there was a multitude they could not cope with. The big men had their role to play while others carried out the combat, they went on underground work, urging others to give their support, financial or otherwise. If you go to the government, police or any place throughout the nation, brotherhood is there. The thieves in brotherhood have their own duty to perform. They do not steal indiscriminately. If they hear anybody saying any evil word against brotherhood, they will mark that person, find out where he lives, and one day they will go and clear his house. And so people will ask why did you say evil things about brotherhood, whatever the person wants will be given to him. And you will boast that without brotherhood, I would not have been what I am now, brotherhood is feeding me. Another person will ask if I come would they accept me. Then he will be told, brotherhood does not discriminate, and so the person will come. There are people listening everywhere to hear what people would say about brotherhood. If you say evil words, you will be so marked out. And so all of us have assignments. What a truthful person can do, a liar cannot do it. A liar, thief, fornicator and the rest of the people have their different assignments. No person is completely useless. That is why, death is not yet destroyed because it has not completed its own assignment. If there is anything going wrong somewhere, it will be informed to go and do its work. That is why, when you are told to forsake sins, you frown, you are going to do it gradually, saying, you are only doing it as a hobby, to safeguard something, afterwards you will do away with it entirely. The government has realized it is unwise to continue to execute murderers, but they have to do it, to deter those who think they can just take up a knife, and get to the market, and start cutting off people's heads without any cause. They are just punishing them to keep down the murder rate. It is only at the fullness of time, they will completely abandon the idea of killing the murderers. Even if a woman is a fornicator, that does not prevent her from serving God. 
the other person is a rogue that does not prevent him from doing something for God. They are all your brothers and sisters. Everybody has a purpose, a sister who fornicates will be able to entice plenty of men into brotherhood. The same thing is applicable to a man who is a fornicator. You will say, you are good, how many people have you brought in here? It is high time we united all the churches, secret societies, and all other institutions into one. The juju doctors, necromancers, herbalists, and the rest should be brought together also. If you do not bring them together, who will give strong testimony, because it is the man who has gone far who will be able, after studying brotherhood so much, to give a good testimony. For you, your only testimony is, your wife has given birth to a child, and you have been promoted. But the juju doctor will be able to testify because he has tested the power of brotherhood and has found himself wanting. A tree has power, its back has power, the leaves and the roots have power and so all these small powers must be combined to form an impregnable power. Whether it is a leaf, root, back of a tree, water, you have to bring them together so you can establish one power. Are you not surprised about the healing water at Bayakpan? You come from England, London, America, or any other place at all and you carry your empty cans to collect the water, mud and sand from Bayakpan. You drink it and it cures your sickness. Water from Bayakpan is used as the last resort. It is put on special use only. Somebody can offer to give you a full bottle of holy oil, but when it comes to Bayakpan water, the person will give you only a drop. Brethren, have you seen that? That is why, it is said wherever your faith is, that is where your salvation comes from. Some people have their faith in trees, some in herbs, some in water and some in spirits. So those who are linked with trees have their cure from the tree, those who are linked to the leaves, water and even the sand have their salvation from each of these. Those who are linked to the Holy Spirit have their cure, power and everything from the Holy Spirit. If we love each other, we all shall speak only one language, have one behavior. But if we hate each other, there will continue to be many languages, we shall believe in different ways of doing things. What happens in the world today about brotherhood? You are sitting with your carnal brother or sister, holding discussions, but immediately you see your brotherhood members, you will jump up and follow them and begin to hold conversation. When you leave your parents and relatives, you do not even care about them or what they are saying. They will say, they do not know what is wrong with you people. They will say, you are lost. That sister who came from London did not care to go and visit her parents. She came straight to see the Holy Father first. Yesterday she was here, today she is here again. Right now she is very happy, being that she is with us. Anywhere you go, you first of all ask for a Bethel, even if you have had all storied buildings, with so many rooms and comfortable beds. You do not want all these luxuries of life. You will instead look for a Bethel to stay comfortably in. What has actually brought you here? What actually do you eat and enjoy here? It is that love which has been lost because people have been separated. For very many years there was no coming together. But right now the Father has brought everybody together. That is why, there is joy, joy, joy. Let my peace and blessing remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you Father.